Welcome to another episode of Continuum Meditations Discusses. So, having laid the foundation in our previous video with an overview of the characters, in this episode we'll continue our talk on the new 24 Legacy TV series by talking about how, so far, the new show is fitting rather snugly into what I once defined as the 20 formula during the heydays of the original show. Before we get started with this particular uh, part of the analysis, let me also go ahead and say, for those of you who are not uh, familiar with the original 24 series, and for those of you who, are not, uh, who have not so far seen 24 Legacy, there will be spoilers incorporated in this analysis, uh, comprising both uh, spoilers from the original series and from the successor series, 24 Legacy. So if you don't like being spoiled, I'm once again giving you fair warning that right now I'm about to move into quote-unquote dark territory. So let's begin with that having been said. So what is the 20 formula? Well, if you are a fan of the old 24 TV series across its eight fantastic years, you undoubtedly noticed an indelible pattern to the day-saving heroics of our favorite anti-terrorist federal agent Jack Bauer. And it was that reliable pattern that kept everyone coming back year after year until the very end. And then some, actually, we could add with the other uh, spin-off things that happened, uh, 24 Live Another Day and 24 Redemption. But nonetheless, 24 always managed to build us up to uh, anxiety uh, that was uh, quite worthy of the show. And usually, and quite without warning, Whammo us between the eyes with some form of jaw-dropping panic. How was Jack going to get out of this latest crisis invented by the brilliant villain of the day or engineered by some group of government or business insiders or other traitors? There are many examples of this. The, For example, the tactical nuclear explosion that went off in Valencia, California in year six the assassination of American President John Keeler by a rogue, disaffected Air Force pilot in year four, the murder of Jack's wife Terry Bauer by Nina Myers, Jack's former mistress and CTU agent turned traitor in year one, and many other examples I could cite. That said, then, what is the 20 formula composed of? My configuration is not a mathematical formula, but instead a set of ideas and circumstances that repeated themselves in the 24 life cycle. And with a few minor exceptions across the show's lifetime, the 20 formula was this. A. The threat of a terrorist attack, whether it be nuclear, biological, or chemical, also known as NBC warfare or NBC terrorism. B, the revelation of enemies obvious and some not so obvious, concealed and not so concealed, you might say. C, the deaths of important figures in the national security and government hierarchy and complex. Many of those who uh, died, often died, within the confines of CTU. I'm not referring specifically to the building itself, but they were actual CTU agents or agents of other government, national security, and law enforcement agencies. And D, the resolution of events that somehow left Jack Bauer himself permanently changed and perhaps even scarred as a result of the day's events. And there are many examples of this. I'll mention two. One, the attempt by government insiders and business tycoons to get the David Palmer administration to go to war against an innocent country by using a fake recording that implicated that nation in an attack against CTU in year two. This led to President Palmer nearly launching a catastrophic bombing campaign that would have plunged the United States into war had it not been for the heroic efforts of Jack Bauer and others to ultimately prove the recording a fake. This vast conspiracy led to the deaths of former division agent George Mason, acting CTU director at the time, and a host of other CTU agents killed as a consequence. 
Another is the assassination of former President David Palmer himself in year five, which led to the revelation of a high-level government conspiracy going all the way to the White House and then President Charles Logan to use acts of false flag terrorism as a means to start a war with the Middle East for the purposes of procuring oil reserves for the United States. This conspiracy led to the deaths of CTU agents Michelle Dessler, Edgar Stiles, and several others. And this is a recurring pattern, as I said, that continued to take place throughout the original 24 series timeline. And we can see many other examples, particularly in years 6, 7, and 8, of how this not only affected such uh, notable figures as former President David Palmer, who, as I said, himself was assassinated, and people like Michelle Dessler, Tony Almeida, and others, but how this affected Jack Bauer himself when he saw many people around him, uh, including people such, such people as Audrey Raines, his former girlfriend, who was captured by the Chinese in year six, uh, his former friend, best friend, and, and comrade in arms, Tony Almeida, who, uh, because of the death of Michelle Dessler in year five, himself turned to the dark side and became a traitor to the United States government and everything he believed in in year seven, uh, and on we could go into year eight. But these are the types of examples that you see that happen to recur repeatedly uh, in the pattern of 24 and what comprised, as I said, what I used to call during the life cycle of the show, the 20 formula. Now, having described what the 20 formula is or was, I do in fact see some parallels that are emerging in 24 legacy. And now what I'd like to do is apply that formula to what we are seeing happening so far and how I think possibly there may be some divergence that may happen in the future as a consequence because I would like to see 24 Legacy not be another clone of the original 24 series. If this show is going to succeed, in my opinion, it should naturally take advantage of some of the more familiar elements that we are all uh, quite easily acquainted with as fans of the original 24 series. But if this show is going to make its mark, especially if it's going to be a long-term program that's going to stay on the air for eight years or perhaps more, as its predecessor did, it's going to need to be uh, remarkably different in my opinion at the same time. So having said that, let's lay the groundwork for where I see this 24 Legacy series uh, being in tune with the original series and from there our next objective will be to look at how possibly it's going to diverge from the original program.